Yes, let's smoothie king. As y'all saw, I was in there, you guys. I got this delicious smoothie. It's called the pineapple surf. I like to get it with pineapples and strawberries. I got the strawberries with absolutely no sugar this time. I'm, my goal is to have a smoothie maybe once a week, but since I'm still like organizing and stuff, I'm like, I just want a smoothie. Plus, I'm gonna bake croaker tonight. I gotta go to the fish market. I see what time they close. I'm gonna try to make it there. Probably go when me and Ethan are out. So I'm gonna go to the fish market and I'm gonna get some croaker because they were big and fresh yesterday. Even though I had fried croaker yesterday, today I'm having baked with some okra. But um, that smoothie is really, really good without the sugared strawberries. So I'm just trying to make better decisions and it tastes good. So it's not like it Sorry, y'all. Y'all know Slime still got my camera. I have my camera back next week. She's out of town again, and she has my camera until her camera comes. So sorry for that. I know y'all haven't heard that from a, for a, a while. So you know, I need, maybe I should put it on silent, or maybe I just take it out. So um, the strawberries are really, really good with no sugar, like really good. Now, yesterday I have to admit that smoothie was a lot sweeter. It was a lot sweeter, but it's just as good. Like it's just as good, guys, for real. But I'm about to be to the house and I'm going to, you know, get back in there and clean my bathroom and start organizing, finish the job that I started. I'm so excited. It feels so good. I met a really sweet lady in Smoothie King. She was asking me about my shirt. My shirt says black, female, educated, and empowered. And she's like, ooh, I need your shirt. And she had a shirt on that had words on it too. And I love t-shirts that have you know positive affirmations or positive things and i really do i enjoy those a lot i'm about to go home and i guess i'll show you guys what i got when i get there so welcome to part two welcome welcome to part two of me cleaning and decluttering because this is going to be like a little series okay series one declutter yep i'm gonna call it a series that's what it is and this is my breakfast y'all with this smoothie this is actually going to probably be like my breakfast slash lunch because tonight I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to get me some baked fish, two croakers, and some okra. So I'll probably have a snack in between, but this is my first two meals, all in one. I'm in Marshall's. Look at these candles. Are they not the cutest you've ever seen? Wow, look at sweater weather. So cute, guys. And I'm walking away from them. Whew. All right, all right, guys, so I'm getting some organizers for my bathroom, I think, and the kitchen. Bathroom and kitchen, guys. What's up, guys? So I just stopped. I wasn't doing much, but I'm running to Target really quickly. I wanted to get the Miss Myers all-purpose cleaner that Nitra B was using. I'm just trying to, you know, it. she says like pumpkin spice or apple cider, one or the other, but I'm going to go try it and just see if I like it, too. And I also need some type of wooden cleaner to clean my wooden tables. And I'm using that for my countertop. So I'm just about to, you know, run here real quick. Hopefully I still have energy to keep going. I know I look tired, y'all. I know I look tired. I, I am tired. It, it is not easy organizing all that stuff. Because I'm doing it alone, like, with no help. <laughs> it's just me. Mama T in the place to be y'all know i rap <laughs> hey guys so i've been trying to clean out these cabinets this stain will not come out i'm gonna use something different i don't even know what it is guys and i'm oh yes praise god it's coming out now hold on let me put some elbow grease elbow action so being that i'm cleaning out and throwing away stuff i don't even know what i'm gonna put in this drawer it looks like that spot's still in there lightly, but I did wipe it and scrubbed it. This one fits. Praise God. I'm going to put my silverware in here. Oh, I'm going to have to put two in here because I really wanted to, um, you know what I want to do with this one? I just wanted to put the big things, like the big things like this in this one. That's what I want to do over here. Yes, sis. This is what I want to do in this drawer, but I'm going to have to, I guess, get like something to lay flat. But okay, y'all, let me finish working. All right, guys, so as you can see, I kind of like switched things up a little bit right here. Hold on. I took the big white vase out and I washed it and I'm not putting it back over here. I just never did it because I'm 
just really wanting a different look. I'm probably going to, um, I changed the water again, but they're still dying. These little babies. One I had to get rid of. Actually, two. They kind of died. I'm not buying anything new for that. That's just that. I need to fix my blinds over there. See how that separation is? Stuff like that annoys me. I'm going to go fix that. Hold on, guys. All right, so I had to fix my curtains and I fixed my blinds. So moving back over here, um, you guys saw that I, I don't know if you guys saw that I bought this, but I bought this. Dishes I have to put away. These are some more things I bought. You guys, I'm really, really tired, so I'm really about to go to bed. I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I emptied this drawer right here and I put these tools back in here. It was a lot of letters and stuff in here, very messy, um, change, pennies. Don't know exactly what I'm going to put over here, but we'll definitely figure it out. I kind of wanted something for these tools, like a toolbox, but for now, I just put that right there, okay? Because we had these tools in here, but it was in it with other things, but I kind of wanted something for this drawer, but it's all good, and this one is cleaned out too. This looks so much better. I cleaned it. I started putting the, you know, the silverware in here. And then this one, the bigger things. I want something for this. I don't just want it on here because um, I don't want it to make it puckle. You know, like if it's ever wet, which I just have to dry my dishes like I'm supposed to. Still got more dishes to put away over there. And this one is, I don't really know, like this, this is some stuff that I had in the drawers. So, um, definitely not throwing away my light bulbs. Um, I have two batteries in here, which I'm probably going to just take these out. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea. Let me know if that will mess up the batteries. I don't think it will, but I'm going to take these two out and just throw that away. I put them back there. These tape things, these are, I don't even use these, so I don't even know why I save those or I put those in here. These little baggies from something, I don't know. I don't really, didn't really have much in my drawer but a bunch of letters, so, okay. See, these are two that are not clean, okay? Now, I would have to be honest, these two have way more papers and stuff in it than those cabinets did, but we're going to get these clean tomorrow because your girl is at this point, really tired, and I'm ready to go lay down so I can get busy tomorrow. But it is taking me a long time, you guys. Hopefully, I finish during this part, too. Okay? All right. Good morning, you guys. It is your girl, and it is Sunday morning. I've already, I had prayer this morning, and I read some scripture this morning, early, early this morning, and I fell back asleep. And I woke up, and I am about to finish cleaning and not necessarily cleaning but like organizing because everything is pretty much clean but really organizing like if you guys could tell like it wasn't a bunch of trash or anything it's just a bunch of stuff and that's what I'm working on so I'm washing some clothes right now well I'm actually drying some clothes I literally just got up um Ethan must have washed clothes and he must have set my clothes on the dryer because they're still wet so I just put, I just turned the dryer on. I just lit a candle in my room. I'm going to show y'all. Um, curtains are still closed. I bet you I can still got ice in here. Y'all, get y'all one of these. Y'all, my ice is still in here. And I'm about to drink it. Drink this water. And I'm going to try to continue to organize and try to finish, you know, my goals to be, you know, more organized and, you know, just the decluttering session is going to continue. I would love to finish it today, but I'm not going to say that I'm going to finish it today. I know I went walking like every day last week. If not every day, I might have missed one or two days when the rain, when it rained. The week before that, I started, but I'm not going to walk today. This is going to be my break day, but not because I need a break, but because I just, I really want to focus and keep my energy up. Not get tired before time, because yesterday it was like, I was like, man, mama, I'm tired. I'm trying to work and I just I was working and I know I look tired but I got some rest it's like almost nine o'clock I slept late I have to go check my flowers outside and water them so I'm gonna throw on some clothes brush my teeth wash my face and just start working I'm really I'm hungry 
I might make me a sandwich with some eggs and bacon, but I don't like cooking because I really want to cook Sunday dinner and cook a little bit later, but I want to clean everything before I cook. And then it's just like, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to cook, but I want to. Definitely going to get my nails done, hopefully this week, because they're growing and I'm kind of tired of the colors. I don't know why. They're still pretty to me. Ready to see something a little bit different on my nails, on my hands. Let's get up. Let's get started. I hope y'all are doing amazing. Make sure you spend some time reading your word. Um, make sure you trust God no matter what, guys. I know this is the cleaning video, but I have to I have to say this to you because it's hard, especially when you are, you know, you making your plans and then you want to make sure your plans are aligned with God because at the end of the day, he is in control. It's not you. It's not me. It's really up to God for a lot of these things that we are, you know, after and a lot of things that we're trying to do. So what I've been praying for a lot lately is not for God to give me things. Well, it's certain things that I've been believing God for, but mostly for him to give me wisdom and guidance. Um, just make me wise, Lord, you know, help me understand what you're saying to me or what you, you know, want me to do and to guide me through it. That is so important to ask God for wisdom. If you don't believe me, read um, the book of King Solomon. He prayed for wisdom, and since he prayed for wisdom, um, God blessed him abundantly um, with other things that he didn't even ask for. And I just think wisdom is so important. And I'm not saying you're going to be like King Solomon. Everybody's journey is not to be known all over the world, but you do still have a purpose. I do not know what it is, but we all have a purpose, you know? I never, you know, I guess I did want certain things, but... I just really want to be pleasing to God. I want to want to be like after his own heart, kind of like David was. I just want him to know that I love him and I want to do right by him and serve him and um, still make a living, you know, and still do things for family and friends. And, you know, it's just that time when you're just like thinking about your life and just this year and things you're going through and, if you notice, I don't talk more about, I don't talk a lot about the things that other everybody else talk about because I don't dwell on things like that. I really put my trust in God. So you're not going to hear me talking about certain things because I trust God and I'm going to read my Bible. Not saying I don't ever be like, oh, that was, that was hard. That was sad because it is, but I have to trust God through it all. And I hope you guys are the same. But I'm about to get up because I cannot believe I've been talking for five minutes. Like, what have I even said? This video is going to be too long. So, let me go. Look, this is not my camera. Let me go. Oh, that's so nasty under here. I don't even know what this stuff is. It's like nasty water spill or something. Rusty water. I don't know. I took a whole bunch of bags out of here. We just had bags. We had this silver thing that looked it rusted. I'm not saving all these bags anymore. It just doesn't make any sense. Maybe four or five. If we run out of trash bags, we just got to go get trash bags. So I just sprayed it down. Um, I sprayed this side down too. We couldn't see the bottom of this. Only thing that we could see was literally bags and like 
you know, certain cleaners. Like we had Windex in here. We had the Brillo pads. We had some Lysols that I didn't know we had. We Don, I didn't know we had. We had some carpet cleaner. We just had, and then we leave our trash bags down there. So, but it was more bags than anything. So I'm just about to scrub it really good and then wipe it down. So it's spray and I'm letting the spray um, sink in there. This Myers, Mrs. Myers smells really, really good. Like it smells like rose water or something, but it smells really, really good. But that's what I'm cleaning everything with. At least this, the counters and the top. So I'll probably be buying some more of that. I really like it because it has like essential oils in it. It's not just like cleaners where you feel like you're about to be sick and you can't breathe. Mama, can you smell that? No. It just smells really fresh and clean, like just like sunshine. <laughs> but um, it's really, it removes dirt. It's like aromatherapeutic household products, creating clean, happy homes since 2001, the year my baby was born. Tough on dirt and grime, gentle on your home. I really like this. Like, I, I really, really like this. I can't wait to smell that toilet one because I bought another one for my toilet too when I can go clean my bathroom today. So, I'm actually excited about doing the cleaning and the decluttering. My mama always wanted to, like, she likes to clean um, for Christmas and for the holidays. And it's a really good idea to start really early. I know it's just September, but we're just going to have to keep it, keep it going. And I'll just put some bacon in the oven, and I'm going to make me some scrambled eggs and put it on two pieces of bread and eat. And I refuse to leave the house today until I get, like, a lot of work done. I'm just like, I'm not leaving today. I'm not buying anything. I don't, I'm not going to get anything else for this house. I was this tempted to get another plant. <laughs> Um, really, really tempted to get another plant. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to get obsessive with things. I don't think God honors that. You know, he blesses us. We got to, you know, take care of what he blesses us with and show him that, you know, we appreciate what he's already given us. So I'm going to do my best to take care of my plants and my home. I even, like, cleaned out my car some. So whenever I feel like this, it seems like God always, he's doing something in me. When I feel like, oh, I have to get ready for something. I don't quite know what I'm getting ready for. But I was like, I'm cleaning. I think when people are pregnant, they what they call a nesting mom? Is it called nesting? When like a pregnant woman is working and she getting ready for a baby? It's like I'm about to birth something. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what it is. But something is telling me to clean and to get my house prepared and get my things in order. Which I'm always thinking I'm trying to get things in order. But no, like even the <clears throat> stuff nobody's supposed to see get that in order that has been really really heavy on me like everything like everything in my life everything nesting right i know i'm not pregnant in the natural <laughs> my mom read the definition to me i'll put it on the screen i'm going to put the definition on there i feel like i'm birthing something i just don't know what it is so today is i think the 26th of september so hopefully you guys get to see what it is, whatever it is, because I don't know. But I'm just going to, I'm going to work it and do as best as I can to declutter and to get things in order. Um, and I've been talking for four minutes and 29 seconds, and it's talking too long. But <laughs> let me get back to work, y'all. I'm trying to, this is what it's looking like behind me. But right here, it's like, you know, just stuff. While you're trying to clean, you're, you're messing up stuff. The hallway is clean, thank God. I'm trying to get everything together, so let me work. Right, guys so this is the aftermath of the under the sink doesn't it look so much better I'm so grateful that I kept going and that um, I'm just doing this guys I'm feeling really really good and I hope you guys get up and do the same thing All right, I forgot about my paper towels I had to add my paper towels to the mix but hopefully nothing else goes under here because we can't fit nothing else um, I mean we could fit a couple of things here but they had to be pretty small because we're not 
what we're not gonna do is clutter, but we we need this stuff. So we need paper towels, but I was tired of having my paper towels on the floor under that table being seen. I'm just wanting storage, storage. And I have plenty, I just have to make it work properly and not over buy. So here we are. All right, so I'm a bit overwhelmed, guys. Um, whew, I'm cleaning under the cabinets. It is, wow, that has fallen in my path, I see. I wiped it down in there. I'm about to wipe it again. I just did the first wipe. And I'm trying to get to show you guys my floor. I'm probably going to neatly put this stuff up and take it out and wash it as I use it. So this is this cabinet. It's all cleaned out. This one is cleaned out. Y'all know I did this one. These yesterday. Well, like, late last night I did these. I did these last night. This one is still dirty. I'm about to start wiping it out. This one doesn't really have anything in it. And then this one, it has like some tools and stuff in it. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that there. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash this part out really, really good. And the things that I use, which aren't that many, I'm gonna put here. The things I don't really use um, that much, or my mom's things from her house, I'm gonna put in on this side. So what I use is gonna be from here. So, then I have to do those two over there, and then this part of the kitchen will be done until I decide to do the food. But we might focus on the food like next week or something. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just we're gonna focus on the food next week. We're just focusing on organizing this stuff today because Mama T is literally. I'm having like I don't know if it's like anxiety. It's just a lot. It's a lot. A lot of wiping. A lot of bending. A lot of up and down sitting it's like you're cleaning up and you're messing up while you're cleaning up but it's not really making a mess but it's making a mess you know what i'm saying like everything was all cleared out but once you start cleaning you're making a mess again it's getting done and i'm feeling good i'm, I'm not feeling bad i'm feeling pretty good i just gotta get it done and then after everything's done then i'm gonna sweep mop and vacuum i'm gonna see about to fall all right, so if you come in this corner over here where my, you know, my living room, it's like a bunch of stuff in this corner, like little props from YouTube. So I'm going to get those, um, I'm going to go get one of them plastic bins today. And I got some stuff that I need, some stuff from YouTube, some stuff like that was a gift from Amber that walk, but I was trying not to open it until... I got more space because I don't have room to open that. And then I got something down there from Food Network. So I got some stuff, but I'm going to come organize this stuff because this is the stuff that I'm talking about. I want everything organized. I can't stand little corners with a bunch of stuff in it. It's not clean to me. Like, it's it's not clean. <laughs> that's my mother's hat. When y'all be seeing these hats, that's pretty grandma's hats. So I just have to organize this stuff better and... um it's really tiring guys sorry it's dark but it's really tiring like doing this work is really really tiring let me show you guys what i've done in my um living room area yeah y'all mama t got a lot of stuff going on so i'm taking stuff i'm wanting less things than normal so like i took all the stuff away from this table except for that little cat and I kept this little cat because it's my grandma's black cat I got that from her house but all that other stuff I had up here I got rid of I after I dusted my television guys you'll see long orders on after I dusted my um, TV area I literally just put that little silver thing under it looks like something spilled but I dusted it really good and I just put that there and there's my cable box so I don't even want nothing else over here um, I took everything that was over here kind of down I'm moving this mirror out of here, but I put I took all that stuff down except for baby Remy, this little black thing and that little time thing over there. Um, what do we got over here? I dusted this. It was three things over here, but I'm just leaving these two. Just trying to minimize stuff. I don't like too much stuff. I'm trying to make it where it's not a lot of stuff. But I am going to leave these down because I did take those flowers away. Hey, babies. Y'all speak to my babies. So we're trying to do less, less things. I got to finish working, y'all. So I got to go. It's, gonna, it's coming together. But here is where I get a little frustrated again because 
But you know what? By the time y'all see this again, this stuff going to be clean away. All right, guys. So I have a lot of stuff. As you can see, the cabinet is clean, but I, I still have lots of stuff. And But it looks so much better. And, of course, your girl forgot to show you what it looked like before. It's kind of hard to film this because I'm so, you know, I'm getting so much anxiety working on it. So I'm sorry that I didn't show you the before, but you guys know what my um, closet looked like. So just picture a bunch of pots and pans. And here's the other side. So these are the ones that I mostly cook with. So these are the ones that I'm going to be leaving out. So there's my frying pan. I like to, um, what is in there? Oh, nothing. All right, so these are the ones that I mostly cook with. So I'm definitely going to just leave this space. I mean, I might have to add a few things in here, especially the bottom, but I wanted to put the ones that I don't use that much on this side. Well, I actually, I'm going to use this whenever I bake another spaghetti. But as you can see, it's so much better. And I've thrown away a lot of stuff. I've thrown away a bunch of stuff. And I have a few dishes to wash. My blinds are open, so it's messing up my light. But if you notice from the other video, it did that in that video also. However, um, I have to wash that waffle maker. And I have to wash those bowls because they felt a little greasy. And I just can't put anything dirty in there. Even though I did say I'm going to wash this stuff before I use it again. And I, I am. But I just didn't want nothing really nasty going in there, you know. But um, that's a, probably the fourth bag of trash today. Come on, light. That's like the fourth bag of trash today right over there. And, of course, I'm going to sweep and mop my nasty floor. But I don't want to do that until I'm done with everything. At least these two rooms the bathroom i have to wait all right so i took a break from the kitchen area to fold these clothes out my laundry ignore the two dollars just on the floor over there i just wanted to fold look that's a terrible job of folding right here i know i know i must have really been tired <laughs> that job is a little bit neater but i'm about to put these clothes in the drawer after i fold this last one i'm like literally zoom 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 i know that everybody cleans so but somebody asked me to do this video. Um, they wanted to see it. So I'm doing it. I watch these all the time. I watch this one girl called White Cottage Company. Oh my goodness. I love her videos. Me and my mama watch her. That's our new thing. Like we me and my mom always we we get these um YouTubers. We we get it we get hooked on. Um we just love all of them still, but sometimes we'll like binge watch certain ones she makes furniture she cleans her house she makes candles she decorates she she does everything she's like just an awesome sweet lady and we watch her so check her channel out she's doing amazing um and i really like her channel so i'm gonna show you guys so you can see you know maybe it inspire you to clean like it's inspiring me to declutter and get my house in order taking me some time like normally i could like clean up now i could still like clean up my house fashion and wash the dishes vacuum but like i'm going in in like wiping and cleaning every cabinet every drawer so that's i think why it's taking so long and why i'm getting so tired so i'm gonna try to finish my stuff today hopefully i can finish a day if not try to finish the bathroom tomorrow and then i want to start working on the food like the refrigerator and stuff but it's a job. What y'all doing? Did y'all clean up? Are y'all cleaning up? I guess it's going to have to be a part three because I think this video is long. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Part three? Oh, my God. 